Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. The first thing I want to say is, just because you don't know something, or you don't believe somebody else believes something, doesn't mean that they don't actually believe it. And I believe that weakness, or that belief that, that somebody doesn't believe what they actually believe, is the backbone of all of this conflict that we're having right now. There are people who are in the Illuminati. And let me say this, there are people who are associated or who are the minions of the Illuminati and they're not in the Illuminati. A lot of these programs that you see, a lot of these, a lot of these videos that you see, a lot of these documentaries that you see, are looking at minions. The Illuminati isn't actually the most powerful, uh, whatever. Uh, the Illuminati is actually uh, just one of the many groups that are, are part of the elite uh, control, right? Uh, there's the, uh, there's the, I'm sorry, there's something going on here in my house that, uh, that's distracting me. Of course it goes on right as I'm about to push record, right? The, uh, the, the Rosicrucians, you have the Templars, you have the, uh, uh, the Vatican. You have the uh, Jesuits, uh, all of these groups, and you have the other secret, uh, secret groups too, that are all trying to eventually uh, exert control over the planet because th that's the big thing, um, which is by itself sort of not, uh, not sanity because 99% of the population has absolutely no wish to control not 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 only not the world but not even next door and what's funny is there's a lot of this political strife that's going on now and it's one group in particular trying to control all other groups and and this plays into this whole elitist notion of we must control so they have imposed this on the minions of minions of minions. So this is like 50 tiers down and the people just don't know it. Now, a lot, some of us know that a lot of the political groups are actually funded and that's the only thing that they know. Uh, let's gather up uh, and go uh, protest something over here, right? And all they know is they're being paid. That's it. And for those of you who are, are not aware, uh, a lot of those protests are paid. And, and people who are not paid are so naive as to think that, you know, 10,000 people just showed up in Minnesota, Virginia, uh, Pennsylvania. You know, they literally believe that 10,000 people showed up with that preamble which was supposed to be that one first sentence only uh let's get into something that is occurring now it's called the goddess ritual and it is the ritual to uh, make uh, somebody into a goddess image now you see it a lot on music awards you see it in the Super Bowl quite a bit, quite a bit, because those are the minions of the Illuminati. Uh, people could be saying, oh, they're a part of them. No, they're not. They're not. They're not. You cannot have an African-American Illuminati. First of all, they haven't established a family for centuries. Right? Right? But, I mean, I'm just kicking out facts. I'm not judging anybody. I'm kicking out facts. Uh, you definitely don't have somebody in the Illuminati who just formed 
a family. Meaning, wife, husband, and a couple of kids. That's not how it works. You could be a minion. And minions are the ones who probably have it the best until you're in the pathway, uh, the sacrificial pathway. And, of course, that sort of life is terrible. And that's what we're talking about now. Now, uh, the Bruce Jenner, I was about to say Bruce Willis, the Bruce Jenner goddess ritual that's going on right now as we speak uh, was touched upon several years ago. And it was, it was seen before, before this was even a thing, it was seen in a Christmas card that the Kardashians made and Bruce Willis was in it as Bruce, Bruce Willis. Bruce Jenner was in it as Bruce Jenner. And you can see that they were doing the Goddess Ritual. If you, if you look at the Christmas card, there are plenty of explanations about it. But if you look at the Christmas card, you can see that Bruce Will, Bruce Jenner, Bruce Jenner, Bruce Jenner, Bruce Jenner is in a, Q, a, a uh, tube, see-through tube, and he's looking at a statue with a male statue with uh, a, a Olympic facsimiles of Olympic medals that have the pyramid on each one of them, right? Three, to be exact. Now, these people uh, in the Illuminati uh, are heavily steeped in ritualism, symbolism, and so forth, right? This is something that they believe. Your non-belief of it doesn't impact their belief. This is, the, the group itself is well documented. And there are plenty of people who've readily come out. And now you're going to find that they readily come out even more. Because they're, now they're openly and brazenly doing it. So that at the foundation of the United States, uh, they simply strategically built cities on uh, earth nodes and stuff like that and ley lines and all sorts of stuff like that this is something that they believe has nothing to do with you there have been some people who have tried to defend this and say oh no that guy, that's just conspiracy no they've come right out and said it now for the uh for bruce jenner uh, you can see the symbolism in that particular Christmas card of Chris Kardashian in her goddess pose with her arms up uh, and the traditional uh, symbolism of the goddess with the wings. And they always try and harken back to Egyptology, which predates Europe. So has nothing to do with Europe, but they're all, they want to ground themselves into something that has authority. And the Egyptian religion, which dominated the world for thousands of years, well before anything in Europe, anything in the Middle East, right? Uh, they want to ground their belief system in that history and authority that Africa had right? and it's African uh, pyramids are all across Africa the gods are all across Africa what they don't get is that the African way of belief is that you have a man and a woman in their efforts and their zeals to control the world they're doing just the goddess ritual and the biggest goddess ritual is feminism. It has nothing to do with women of today. It is simply uh, exerting control over the world through women, which is a weak a weakness. You can see uh, that by the African American community, which has been controlled through it's uh, females uh, and the African-American community has just 
been devastated over the past 60 to 70 years, right? Because they have concentrated on the black woman and empowering the black woman, which has in turn destroyed the entire community. And that was the end goal anyway, not gold, goal. That was the end goal anyway, to destroy the black community. So you empower the woman over the man and you have a destroyed community. Now we have the United States, you have Europe doing the goddess ritual all uh, on a vast amount. And people really think that they're doing something. This is the same thing with the protesters. People really think that they're really doing something and that it's all grassroots and, and it's really women come, when in fact, traditional women are saying, you all are doing this wrong. There's something wrong about this and a majority of women do not associate themselves with feminism, right? And in the UK, it is even worse. Only 7% of women identify as being feminist. And people say, well, they, they benefit from uh, what the feminists, the feminists haven't done anything. This is the propaganda that they keep trying to say. Oh, the goddess, the goddess, the goddess, the goddess. Uh, the goddess is powerful, the, and the goddess has, has done this and that f for women, and when in fact it hasn't. In the United States, feminism has done almost nothing. And always, at the very end of this whole push for women to do this and that and the other, are men. So how can it be so beneficial to women and be for women when women aren't even in control of it? You are seeing the goddess ritual played out in the Bruce Jenner, uh, Jenner episode, this whole circumstance, this whole everything. Now, I was trying to get uh, the history of it, uh, and of course, then I came across with uh, Mr. Wiseout, if you all are aware of them please leave a comment below about that uh anyway i don't want to make this too long that's all i wanted to talk about thank you if you want me to continue and elaborate uh, more than 12 minutes uh leave a comment thank you uh like the video